Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Proviance. I'm here today with char-grilled oysters with a Creole remoulade. As you can see, it's a little wet today, but uh, that's not a problem because this is a super quick recipe. And it's really, really delicious. This is a, a New Orleans specialty. I had this recipe or something quite similar a few years ago at a food conference down in New Orleans where they love their oysters. And they would never do anything to overwhelm or uh, upstage the oyster. So I'm going to follow in that tradition. I want to show you first how to, uh, well, choose oysters and then shuck them. When you're grilling oysters, it's good to get the ones that have a deep bottom shell. Um, that means that the oyster is sitting down there in a whole bunch of liquid. And that liquid is called the liquor, the oyster liquor. It's absolutely delicious. It's that briny shellfish. Uh, elixir, <laughs> if you will. So to get the uh, the oyster open, what you need to do is find the little hole here near the end. There's a small opening, and you want to take an oyster knife and position it right in that opening there. And you're going to have to push pretty hard right into the back of the oyster. At the same time, kind of twist your wrist back and forth, just until you feel something pop open. And you want to use a towel like this in case you happen to slip, the towel is hopefully going to catch. And you get in, in there and you can feel it pop. And then you just use the oyster knife in your hand if necessary to just pry the top off of the oyster. It takes a little bit of strength. Take your time, do it delicately so that you don't uh, break the shell you don't want any bits of shell in there. And you want to be careful not to lose any of the liquid that's inside. If there is any shell around the edges, you just want to wipe that off. And then lay them flat on a platter, again, trying not to lose the liquor. Now, grilling them couldn't be simpler. You're basically just heating them up to the point where that liquor just starts to bubble a little bit. You're almost poaching the oysters in their own liquor. So I've got a good hot fire here, and it's important, I think, that it's charcoal because it's going to contribute a little bit of smokiness, just a delicate amount. And the cooking time on these is really short. It's usually about three minutes or so, depending upon the size of the oyster. Again, you're just looking really for bubbling liquor. And then let's talk about the remoulade. Remoulade is a very popular sauce down in New Orleans. It's actually a French culinary term, and you probably know that the French have had a big influence on New Orleans and, and Creole food. Uh, remoulade is not actually a very popular sauce in French cuisine these days, but sure is popular down in New Orleans. It's a very potent sauce. I mean, it has a lot of flavor going on. So remoulade really refers to a mayonnaise-based dressing that almost always has some mustard in it. In this case, because we're talking New Orleans, I've got Creole mustard. Also, some Worcestershire sauce. Got to have Tabasco if you're down there. Some capers, some horseradish, a little bit of lemon, some green onions, some celery, and a few other things. You can check the recipe for yourself, but a lot of flavors. The thing is, though, we're just going to use a little bit of it. It's like a little dollop. Um, it just kind of elevates the oyster, but doesn't overwhelm the oyster. So let's take a look at where we are. See how quick that was? They are bubbling away. This is just what you want to see right here. You take them much longer than that, they tend to dry out, and they're much better when they're juicy. Again, I like to use the bigger oysters for this. And the sweeter oysters, I mean, any kind will work, but uh, these, these big ones are about mm, three inches long. And we want to just accentuate the, there's a creaminess about the oyster, which is kind of um, echoed by the creaminess of the mayonnaise dressing. And then you're adding also a certain brininess with the, the, the salty ingredients, with the Worcestershire, and, and there's obviously a lot of salt in, there's some salt in here. And literally, it's about a half a teaspoon. I mean, it's just, just a touch. So you can really just taste the, the oyster and a little bit of that sauce. And this sauce, by the way, if you have extra, goes great on a, a sandwich in place of mustard. It's just, I mean, in place of mayonnaise or mustard. 
Now, I gotta try one of these. Hopefully they're not too hot. Whew, whew. Where's my knife? I wanna make sure it's nice and loose in there. Beforehand, by the way, I did cut underneath the oyster to release it from the shell. Mm. Oh, that is so good. That is so New Orleans. So here's to New Orleans, one of the great food cities of America. Let the good times roll. <laughs>